Welcome again to our series during this Lenten time of rediscovery and growth and conversion in a very different kind of a way. We've been speaking again of the tree in the beginning in Genesis, the tree at the end, the tree of knowledge of good and evil, the tree of the 12 fruits that never cease, the disciples, the 12 apostles, we talked about those things, the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Well, I want to tell you that some things about the enduring teaching of the church, maybe some of you know this perfectly. Maybe some of you really don't know these names. But very early on, within the lifespan, within the lifespan of the apostles, and as things were being continually handed on through the apostles and to their disciples and the churches being established, by the year about 90 AD, they say it was around 90 AD. Now, just think, if St. Peter died around 60 or so, this is only 30 years later, they have compiled what they call the teaching of the Twelve Apostles, the Didache in Greek. And in this, what, did they, what does it say? There are two ways, the ways of light and the way of darkness, the way of good, the way of evil. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the disciples were teaching this already. They were bringing us to the revelation and the recollection that there are two ways and the fruits. What did Jesus say? By their fruits you will know them. A tree cannot bear good fruit if it is a bad tree. What a wonderful thing. When we go back and we say, already in 90 AD they were doing this, talking about this. And then there were others. Tertullian, oh, a wonderful philosopher and teacher, who was just thrilled with handing on the faith and using these examples. And then, of course, there was also a fellow by the name of Origen. Oh, my goodness, he was able to do so, so much. And, it, you know, some people were very jealous of him. It's interesting to read these things. What was happening already in the second and the third centuries of our church? How are it still very early on? Well, there was another fellow, a wonderful fellow, St. Irenaeus of Lyon. Oh, he was the Archbishop of Lyon, and he was able to write, and he was the one that I found out about these trees, the beginning and the end. He says, all history from the beginning and the end, it is a cycle, but its course is to bring us at last to the fullness of eternal life, the second coming of Jesus. He saw that the Bible, as it presents the trees as bookends, it's very much a symbol, I suppose you'd say, a sign or, or, or a teaching. That from the very dawn of creation, when the Holy Spirit hovered over the waters, God's presence was here. Let there be light. Let us create man in our own image and likeness. All the way up to a new heaven and a new earth. Love for life did not deter them from death, so rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell therein. The Bible gives to us the gateway, the map, the key to understand. Our time is the time to grow by the grace of God, bring our fruit for others, to be able to say that was a good tree and that teaching is good. That is good for, that was a good tree and what a wonderful person that was. Kind, generous, loving, long suffering. So we have a long history, a wonderful gift in the church. And the more we know about it, the more we will say, oh God, your love for your people is without end. Lord's blessing be upon you this Lenten season. Let us look for him. Let us grow with him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.